What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I'm going to show you on how to edit meshes in real time As you can see, I'm basically shooting some balls into this wall I'm making holes or just adding uh, basically more spheres into this mesh So I'm going to show you how to do so But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 With all the mechanics you need in only one week And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off so check it out through the link in the description. All right, so basically as you can see, I'm using the geometry script plugin. Okay, so make sure to enable that. If I know how to type geometry script plugin, there we go here, which is an experimental, but it works very well with my testing. So basically I have this blueprint, which is the dynamic wall. So you can see I have this dynamic mesh component. So as you can see, at the begin play, I basically create a sphere box and this is basically the bullet itself so you can see I save it as a variable projectile with this radius and so on okay uh, so basically I just create the template for the projectile hole right uh, then uh, this the this code every time the mesh is rebuilt uh, so in this case right now it's happening uh, so basically I create this box the pen is kind of to create a, a shape right in this case I'm just using this uh, I can change the value here and basically create this wall, right? And as simple as that. And then with this, I just apply some tessellation, some displaced texture map, and you know some normals to basically get this uh, any material to be working. So you can see this is also a mesh, and I am um, you know have applied the uh, rifle material, so that's why I apply tessellation and so on. And then the normals are so I can displace the bombs, and I get a more interesting shape. As you can see, it's like more interesting, uh, more of a cartoony look, right? And now at the end, I just basically uh, save the whole mesh and compile it to use uh, have uh, its collision loaded. Okay, so the collision will be very accurate. Great, uh, especially with these shapes, right? When it's a rifle, whatever. And then as you can see, this is the interesting part itself, uh, which is the, the projectile, the damage. As you can see, I'm using an interface, which just has this three inputs. So the hit, which is, you know, all the information uh, about the uh what location it has hit it uh from which actor and so on the velocity and then subtract if i want to remove or add as you can see i showed at the start uh with the bullet right um so as you can see here if the projectile is valid so it has initialized at the beginning uh i make sure that if it's subtract i go here and apply mesh boolean this is like removing or adding things like the boolean uh, so the target mesh is the target mesh okay that's the mesh itself and then the tool mesh is the projectile which is the the one over here right and then basically i just pla uh, you know pass the location from the hit as you can see i'm just getting the impact point of the bullet and just uh putting it of course from well to local transform and then you know uh and here this is an important thing uh, operation if it's subtract or union so subtract will be removing and in false it is basically union so it's adding this sphere itself and you can see this is very simple use a bit of the nodes nothing crazy and an interface and of course uh, from the solder I go ahead and spawn this bullet which is another blueprint of course I do this replicate in multiplayer and so on and then in the bullet itself uh, when I hit something I go ahead and just call that interface, the destroy from the object I have hit it, and then I pass if I want to subtract or not, and the velocity, and so on. Okay, so you get the idea. It's nothing crazy, it's very, uh, very simple. But of course, it's a plugin that you have to learn, like, you know, any other, so you get the idea. Uh, so that's it, guys. If you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my Patreon and YouTube members. Uh, go ahead and check out the FPS course by Virtus. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials now. Yes, plus it. Bye bye.